as you know, there has been um, a great amount of gun violence over the weekend that we want to talk to you about. First in Austin, Texas, police have taken one man into custody this morning. He is a former sheriff's deputy. He was suspected of killing three people in a shooting rampage there yesterday, and that was just one of the many incidents over the weekend. Our hearts are going out to the other victims, including the three people shot and others wounded at a Wisconsin bar. Another woman in Ohio that was killed at a vigil. And in Chicago, a seven year old girl, wow, was killed and her father seriously injured at a McDonald's. We're also learning more about the 19 year old man who killed eight people at a FedEx facility last week. We are not going to show you his picture, which is our policy for mass shooters. Authorities say he legally purchased the two assault rifles used in the attack in July and September of last year. That's despite the fact that his family reported him to the authorities for potential violence in March, and he had a rifle taken from him at the time. This has led many people to question the background checks and red flag laws that are supposed to prevent firearm sales to people who could be dangerous to not only themselves, but others. I'm already reading your comments. Jeff, what are your thoughts? You know, we talked about this, unfortunately, on Friday, and I feel like we're gonna continue to talk about this, but just, I read these numbers on Friday, but I wanna make sure people know. A mass shooting is four or more people. Just that's that that's the definition of it well, for whatever reason. 424 in 2019, 612 in 2020, and we're already at 147, probably up now because this was read on Friday. But how many deaths, how many shootings does it take for the government to step in and at least show us some sign? We have these red flag laws. They don't seem to be working. We shut down a whole country because of certain amount of deaths. What is the number we put on gunshot victims to finally step in as a country and try to do something about this. Well, I, I agree with you. Like, what, what, is there a quantifiable point? And I really don't know if there is. I think that what a lot of times we have happen is that we never really triage situations as they come, you know, when we're talking about issues that affect us as a society. Um, there was a meme that I saw over the weekend and it was talking about, um, you're really worried about Johnson & Johnson vaccine more than all of these in all different types of cities, all different populations, and all of them were mass shootings. And I think that we get so easily distracted. And I'm not saying that one, isn't important. But I do think that if you go to an emergency room and they decide who needs to go first based on need, that means that it's an imminent situation. And I think that for some of these issues, we need to triage what is happening in this world. Yeah, and Tori, we need to triage it together. Again, I know when we bring up gun violence, gun control, gun reform, all of a sudden there's two sides. There can't be two sides. As a parent, as a mother, I fear sending my child to school one day. I don't want to have to have that fear. I want my child to not have to live in a world where she doesn't have to go through those, uh, those gun mass shooting drills in their school, right? So do you think there's a way, Tori, that we can still support the Second Amendment, I support the Second Amendment, but also have strict gun reform, which I also support? Yes, and know that we've done it before. So when one person tried to blow up an airplane with their shoes, we all take our shoes off, right? In 1982, someone tried to poison Tylenol bottles. We now have safety caps. We know how to do things. We just have to get together on it. And the problem, Sam, that's really sad to me is that 90% of Americans agree with you, and that's Republicans and Democrats. That is unheard of for Americans to agree on background checks. Why they aren't being brought up as a bipartisan bill, this would be great for a young senator to bring up with someone across the aisle and say the red flag laws need to actually work. So it, it's a shame, but it's something the country can do. But right now we're baseball, American pie, and mass shootings. That's what we're known for. Wow. That's, that's other hard countries to hear. have figured it out. What's that? Other countries have yes. figured this out, right? Yes. But we but other countries to take don't it. have yes, the history absolutely. that we but other countries don't have the history that we do with guns, right? Yeah, yeah. So there this is a different nuanced situation, but I believe that our country can figure it out. I believe in the in the minds of both Republicans and Democrats. Let's reach across the aisle, let's think about our children, and let's stop politicizing everything, especially when it comes to all this gun violence. Come on, you guys, get it together.